Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to infrared spectra interpretation of different functional groups such as aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid, esters, ethers, alkenes, etc. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 30. When reactant X is treated with suitable reagent, products Y and Z are formed. Infrared spectra of X, Y and Z are shown. This is reactant X. From the given spectra, we can assume that as carbonyl peak is absent, that was between 1670 to 1730, strong and sharp peak. And we can also see that broad peak between 2500 to 3000 is also absent, which was due to alcohol functional group. So alcohol is also absent. So if carbonyl is absent, then it is not aldehyde nor ketone, neither carboxylic acid nor ester. And as OH is also absent, so therefore this is also not alcohol. This is product Y and this is product Z. From the given spectra, we can see that now carbonyl peak is present at around 1700 something. And around 2500 to 3000, broad peak is absent so therefore OH is absent. So if carbonyl is present and OH is absent it means it is not carboxylic acid. It can be aldehyde or ketone or ester. It is not alcohol as OH is absent and carbonyl is present. In the last structure, we can see that carbonyl peak is present, broad OH peak is also present. So as both carbonyl and OH peak are present, so therefore this is the structure of carboxylic acid. As in carboxylic acid, we have C double bond O, we also have OH. So according to infrared spectra of X, it is neither aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid or ester. So therefore we can see that this one is absent. So it could either be pentuene or this is also alkene and this is also alkene. Now in product Y, we have seen that carbonyl was present while OH was absent. So therefore it is not ethanoic acid. It could be ketone that is propanone. In structure Z, we had carbonyl as well as OH, so therefore this is carboxylic acid, so it should be propanoic acid. Correct answer is therefore B. Question number 23. The infrared spectrum shown was obtained from a compound J. So this is the infrared spectrum we can see that the peaks coming are in between 1600 and 1700 per centimeter and also between 2800 to 3500 which statement about J is correct now we can see that in all four parts A, B, C and D only two different functional groups are given one is carbonyl and second is carbon bo triple bonded with nitrogen atom so let's see what is their values in the function uh, in the data booklet so from the data booklet we know that carbonyl carbon comes between 1640 and 1750 with a strong peak while CN comes in between 2200 to 2250 per centimeter and the peak is wide. 
Now this region is between 16 to 1700 degree uh, per centimeter. So it means yes carbonyl is present because this shows the strong peak between 16 and 1700. So carbonyl is present while C and there is no peak between 2200 and 2250. So we can say there is no peak here. So it means carbonyl is present but CN is not present. So the answer is part C. Question number 29. Compound X has the infrared spectrum shown. What could be the identity of compound X? Now we can see in this spectra there are two important peaks. One is this one. And the second is this broad peak. Let's find out what is the identity of this compound. A is ethanoic acid. So we know that in ethanoic acid we have carbonyl, carbon and OH group attached. So from data booklet we come to know that carbonyl carbon of carboxylic acid its value is between 1680 and 1730 per centimeter while OH group of carboxylic acid it gives a broader peak at 2500 to 3000 per centimeter. So this graph looks like as if it is of ethanoic acid because both of the peaks are present. One is sharp peak between 1680 to 1730. This is 1700. This is 1600. And another one is sharp and broad peak between 25 and 30. 2500 and 3000. Part B is ethanol. The functional group in ethanol is OH and OH functional group absorbs between 3200 to 3600 per centimeter but the peak is sharp. So there is no sharp peak between 32 and 3600 so it is not ethanol. Then we have ethyl ethanoate which is an ester. And in ester, we know that we have carbonyl, carbon, and also carbon bonded with oxygen. Now, the carbonyl carbon of ester gives the peak between 1710 to 1750, which is a sharp peak. D is propanone. Propanone also has carbonyl carbon because it is a ketone. And it also gives the peak between 1670 to 1740. And the peak is sharp. Now we know that this peak is present. This one is also present. But both C and D does not give the broader peak value. So the broader peak value only comes from ethanoic acid. So therefore the answer is part A. Question 30. The infrared spectrum shown was obtained from compound G. What could be compound G? We can see that this peak is significant and it comes exactly between 6, 1700 and 1800 so the value could be 1750 per centimeter. And this is also a sharp peak. A is this compound having alcohol functional groups and also ketone functional group ketone gives between 1670 to 1740 sharp peak while alcohol gives a sharp peak between 3200 to 3600 as we can see that the sharp peak between 32 and 3600 is absent so therefore a is incorrect in b we have Carboxylic acid functional group having three carbon atoms. 
we have carbonyl of carboxylic acid and also OH bond. This carbonyl will give between 1680 and 1730 sharp peak, while this OH will give a peak between 2500 to 3000. And the peak must be sharp and very broad. As this OH peak is absent, so B is also incorrect. In C, we have carbonyl carbon present in ester, and this shows a peak between 1710 to 1750 per centimeter and the peak should be sharp. No other sharp peak is found. As in the structure, we can see that the only sharp peak is at 1750, so therefore C could be correct option. For D, we have alkene function group. And alkene shows a peak between 1500 to 1680 per centimeter and the peak should be weak as there is no such peak present so therefore D is also incorrect the answer is therefore C Question number 30, the diagram shows the infrared spectrum of Q. This is the infrared spectrum. On x-axis we have wave number per centimeter and on y-axis we have transmittance. We can find out the structure of the compound by the help of these peaks. So one of the peak is at 3000 while the other is at 1700 plus. So we can write 3000 and 1700 a little bit more than 1700 it stop start what could q be let's find out which compound is this one a is butane one ol so we have four carbon atoms and alcohol is on first carbon atom as this is alcohol and according to data booklet in alcohol the oh functional group corresponds to 3200 to 3600 sharp peak as there is no such peak present in this compound so therefore it is not butane one ohm b is butanoic acid In butanoic acid, we have two different peaks corresponding to carbonyl carbon and OH group. Now the carbonyl carbon peak will be between 1680 to 1730 sharp, while the peak of OH group for butanoic acid will be between 2500 to 3000 sharp and broad. As we can see only carbonyl carbon peak is present at 1700 plus and there is no broad peak between 2500 to 3000 so therefore it is not butanoic acid. C is butanone so this is ketone. In ketone we just have carbonyl carbon present and the peak will be between 1670 to 1740 sharp and strong this is the only peak that is present in butanone as in this graph you can see that the sharp peak is present at 1700 plus so it could be butanone last one is 3 hydroxybutanol So it is aldehyde and on third carbon we have hydroxyl group attached. Again there are two peaks corresponding to this one. One is from OH group and second is from carbonyl carbon. 
the peak for OH must be between 3200 to 3600 sharp and the peak corresponding to carbonyl carbon should be between 1670 to 1740 sharp. As this peak is absent, so therefore it is not 3-hydroxybutanol, so the only option that could be correct is C. Question 30. The infrared spectrum of a compound P is shown. This compound we can see that there is no peak between 1600 and 1700 per centimeter. So it means that carbonyl carbon is absent. So aldehyde, ketones, ester is not possible. We can see that this peak is present at 2950 per centimeter so it could be of carbon and hydrogen and this broad peak is present between 3200 and 3600 so it could be because of the presence of alcohol functional group let's look into the options a is methyl ethanoate which is ester the structure will be like this As carbonyl peak is absent, so this is incorrect. B is aldehyde propanol. Again, we have carbonyl carbon present. So B is incorrect. C is propanoic acid in which we have three carbon atoms. Again, we have carbonyl carbon peak, so C is incorrect. D is propane 2 ol. So we have alcohol group whose peak is present between 3200 and 3600, and we also have carbon hydrogen whose peak is present at 2950. The answer is therefore D. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like, subscribe and share.